The next part of this problem asks us if we can find the moment of inertia from what we know, in this case if we measured time. So this might be something like a laboratory experiment. Recall that we're saying our moment of inertia is c times mr squared, r being the outer radius of the object. So we look at our expression for the time, first of all. Our formula for time is the square root of 2s times 1 plus c over g times sine of alpha. Let's get rid of that nasty square root. t squared equals 2s 1 plus c over g sine alpha. Again, since we're trying to find the moment of inertia, what we can settle for is finding c. So let's solve this equation for c. Pull as much out as we can. We'll keep our factor of 1 plus c. Multiply by g sine alpha, divide by 2s. We get 1 plus c equals t squared g sine alpha over 2s. To solve for c, we just have to subtract 1 from each side. So that gives us c is t squared g sine alpha over 2s minus 1. 